Good day to you, 9th and O. This is Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. I'm Brandon, one of your deacons at 9th and O. It's good to be with you. I want to turn our attention to our Bible reading today on Ecclesiastes. This is a wisdom uh, book, and wisdom in it we will find. And so, <clears throat> I don't have to give you a devotionable to let you know that there are harsh realities for living in a broken world. Uh, I don't have to post um, a devotionable to let you know that there are unresolved tensions that force you and I to trust and depend on the wisdom of God. We know that because we're living lives that, uh, that face all of those things. We live in a broken world and we need help from God. And we find this help when we look to uh, the wisdom literature. Now, books of wisdom include Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Job, and, and even the Song of Songs. But today, our Bible reading brings you and I to Ecclesiastes. And, and the main purpose for that book is found at the end of the book, usually. Uh, we find it closer to the front, but here in this text, it's in chapter 12, verse 13, when it tells you and I to fear God, keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Well, we need to fear God. Uh, and it, it's not a scare fear, it's a reverential fear. There's a great respect that you and I have as we fear the Lord. Second, we, we have this idea throughout uh, Ecclesiastes of vanity. Oh, even the, in those Bible days, they loved themselves and they chose vanity. Th putting vanity in things, of, uh, things that were temporary. And, and as you go through here, they talk about everything being vanity. Vanity, vanity. And so, then you find, not only is there the fear of the Lord, not only is there the talk of vanity, but also the talk of death. In this brief devotion for busy people, death is a very real thing. It is, in fact, the great equalizer. I've heard it said that there are no U-Hauls behind a hearse. In other words, you can't take it with you. And so, chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes is a very familiar passage that talks to you and I about seasons, seasons of life, a time to be born and a time to die. Uh, and so, we have this idea that, that even eternity is in a person's heart. Look with me in verse uh, 9 of Ecclesiastes 3. What gain has the worker from his toil? I have seen that the business that God has given to the children of man to be busy with, he has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, uh, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from beginning to the end. The gospel takes the mundane and gives it immense purpose. And so we... We consider these things as you're reading through Ecclesiastes today or whenever you happen to find that time to read. Consider the fear of God. Out of your respect for God and for His Word, keep His commands. His, he wants to bless you and I and the way that He does that is if we live in full obedience to those things that He's asked of you and I to do through His Word and second, I want you to answer this question. Where does your treasure lie? If your treasure is in things of the world, those are the things that will give way to wrath and, moth and rust. But if we treasure the things of God, if we treasure God, may I say to you today that Jesus is the prize. And so only things that are done for eternity will last. Those things that you and I do for Jesus, those are the things that really matter. And so find today time to do 
things that will have an eternal impact on those around you. Nathanael, hope you have a great week.